Regular programming will not be seen tonight. The following is an LEX 18 News Holiday Presentation. Two thousand fourteen, a trying year for many. It's very hard to see someone that you love so much slip away every day. I'm fully and truly convinced that track saved my life. But people answered the call in their hearts to do something and make a difference. Everything from volunteering in another country to helping out a school right down the street. He comes in and he just brightens the day. Everyday people stepping up to become extraordinary heroes. She's just made a world of difference in his life. LEX 18 is proud to share some of those inspiring stories with you this Christmas Day as we celebrate those who are making a difference. Hello everyone and Merry Christmas. I'm Nancy Cox. Remember that old song from the 80s, Do They Know It's Christmas? Well, while we're celebrating with friends and family and kids are playing with their new toys, we need to remember not everyone is so fortunate. For instance, it's been more than four years since Haiti was devastated by an earthquake. Since then, hundreds of groups from all over the world and right here in Kentucky have traveled there to help with the recovery. That includes a mission team from Midway Baptist Church. LEX 18 assignment editor Mike Taylor documented their trip and found that making a difference means more than building homes. It's about building what this church calls a love-Haiti relationship. Why did I come to Haiti? God led me to Haiti. I was really led here. It wasn't a. It wasn't really a personal decision. It was um, something that was kind of in the back of my mind, and I really I felt God, you know, tugging at the heartstrings. I came to Haiti to make a difference. I've been to a lot of different impoverished countries. Honestly, nothing really compares to the pervasive spread of of the poverty here. This is Lambie Village, and this big, big tree that you're seeing here is um, almost like the uh, town center. It's the best shade in town. Off to the right, there are still uh, about a dozen families still living in the same kind of tents that we saw so many pictures of from the, uh, from the earthquake. Mambi Village is a village that is made up of residents that have been um, affected by the earthquake. Bonjour. Bonjour. A lot of them have been living under tarps for over four years. We've taken these families and we've empowered them with providing them with a permanent stable home, um, with education, with job empowerment. So we're not just giving you the house, but you are earning the house by your sweat equity. This is not um, a handout, but it's more of a hand up. Look at it. It's, it makes it look easy. But that's like concrete. This is my chance to do a mission trip and make some changes somewhere in the world. I really just feel a burden on my heart to help these people. I've been painting on some very rickety, uh, safety questionable ladders. Oh, yeah, girl. Uh, the strength of the children in our group has been really amazing. Uh, all of the kids, and I mean all of them, boys and girls, have worked very hard and have really put themselves out there. Tell me what you've done while you've been here. Mostly build trusses. They're like wooden triangle frames that they use for holding up the roofs of houses. Not much you can do if you're a slacker here, except change from being a slacker to being not a slacker. see everyone around here, kids, adults, working together uh, with a happy face on, always happy to see us, and uh, they, they haven't let it get them down. <laughs> it's just so destitute. There's, there's no infrastructure. Uh, people are just on the streets just basically trying to live, and, and yet they have so much hope and they're so happy. This is Nabi's. This yes. is my friend Nabi's. Yeah. We, we drove a lot of nails. Yeah. <laughs> well, this little guy is Bebe. Say hello. <laughs> and he, hello. 
and Bay Bay stole my heart. I'm really surprised by how strong they are in faith. It's very inspiring and I hope I can take that back. You know, you come to build houses and you end up making these new friends from uh, a place you've never been before. It's, it's really cool. I've heard a lot of people talk here about how awful it is. I have yet to meet a person who lives here who seems miserable. They're gracious, they're thankful, they're considerate, and they're joyous all the time. Many, many. With me now is the Haiti team leader, Ron Wyatt. And Ron, I understand you have a progress report since you guys left Haiti. Yes, when we left Haiti, the uh, well was broken. Mm -hmm. Since then, we had some extra money, so we were able to fix the well and install a water tank. So now there's uh, clean water back again in the village, and it's a good thing. What a gift. And how does that make you feel inside in this holiday season to know that you've impacted lives? It's a, it's a great feeling to know uh, that we were able to help and just uh, it's a great feeling. And folks are going back, right? Going back in June, uh, hopefully, to, to uh, continue our work there in, in another place, but a very similar project and we're looking forward to it. Wonderful. Coming up on Making a Difference. I think helping a child is a real, a real treat. One school special thank you to a volunteer changing lives. We can pray and we can um, keep them in our hearts, but we were kind of driven to do a little bit more than that. And people at one Jessamine County salon went pink this October to raise awareness and funds for a former client. We'll be right back. <laughs> 